everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to use your existing funds to pay for products and services here at NameHero. So a lot of our existing customers at NameHero, they like to add funds to their NameHero wallet, which allows them to automatically pay for future invoices, which covers for renewals, um, as well as domain renewals, hosting renewals, and also new hosting packages and new domains. So if you're not a customer with us here at NameHero, you'll need to first sign up and have an account. But if you do, then you can, of course, add funds to your account at any time. So a lot of our customers like this feature specifically because they take full control over when they pay. Since you might have signed up on your web hosting package at, say, the end of the month or maybe the 15th of the month, and you don't get paid till after the first. So then it, we get this discussion quite frequently as people want to change their um, billing date. Well, unfortunately, at Name Hero, that's not possible because if you signed up at the 10th of the month and you're going month to month, your bills due the next month, the 10th. Um, if you signed up for a three-year package, your bill is going to be due three years years from when you signed up. And that's how we handle billing at Name Hero. We do it just based on the day you signed up. But if you wanted to go ahead and add funds to your account, you can pay at any time. And then when that invoice comes due, it's automatically going to pull from those funds. And also, if you want to add another domain to your account, another server, another hosting package, then you can do that as well using those existing funds. So it allows you to take full control over when you pay for your hosting services. And from time to time, we'll also run specials when you deposit funds. We'll actually match those funds. We just recently had our Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale where we actually match deposits to a certain amount. So you can do that any you can do that on those sales and then use those funds anytime during the year. Um, these funds do not expire. Um, the only thing about them is when you add them to your Name Hero account, they are non-refundable, unfortunately. Um, because, you know, if we get into adding funds and then you say, well, I want to remove those funds, then it gets into this whole accounting nightmare. So um, once you do add those funds, they never expire, but they are locked in here at Name Hero. Unfortunately, we cannot return those. So with that said, I'm going to show you how to go about doing this if you want to buy another hosting service or another domain. For the renewals, that's easy. It just automatically will pull from that invoice when it comes do. But if you want to add another hosting package or another domain, then there's a little process that you have to follow. It's super easy, so I'm going to demonstrate it now. If you want to follow along, you can hover over account and click login. Um, we're going to start here from the client dashboard. Now I've got tutorials on our YouTube channel as well as in our knowledge base on how to add funds. But to do that, you would just go to billing and you'd go to add funds. And this is where you would make that deposit. You can see the minimum amount is $20. So you can't deposit anything less than 20. And the maximum is 500. So you can't deposit any more than 500 at one time. If you want to deposit $1,000, then you would need to do two separate transactions of 500. So you can see the maximum balance is actually 5,000. And that's quite high, but we wanted to set that high for a reason because some of our customers at Name Hero, they have a lot of accounts or they have a lot of hosting um, packages and they have a lot of servers and they have a lot of domains. So they want to keep a, a good, a hefty balance on their account um, so they don't have to worry about paying for it. The funds are added and it just draws off that balance. So that's how you do it here is it has to be larger than 20 and less than 500 or 500 or less. Um, so you would just put that amount in here. You would choose your payment method and you would continue on to add funds, which would generate the invoice and all that. And again, there is tutorials on that if you need to know how to actually deposit them. But once the funds are deposited, let's say you want to add a web hosting account. You would just go here and go to web hosting, and this brings you up to our web hosting page here. And for this example, let's say I wanted to add the Turbo Cloud to my account. I've got funds. I just want to go ahead and add another hosting package. So I would click on the package, <clears throat> and we have three options here. Obviously, you can register a new domain, transfer your domain, or you've already got the domain, and you're going to update the name servers yourself. Um, so that's what the option I'm going to use for this tutorial. I don't want to register a new domain. So I'm just going to use keydiets.com. Click Use. Okay, now we have just our desired um, configure options, and so this shows you, you know, what the Turbo Cloud is. Then you have your billing cycle. The longer you sign up at Name Hero, the more you save. If you sign up for at least a year, you get a free domain registration or transfer, so that might be helpful to some. If you want to go month to month, unfortunately, we can't honor that free domain, um, but you can still get your hosting and all that. Um, for this example, I only have $30 deposited in this demo account, so I'm going to go month to month so I have enough to cover it. 
Uh, if you want to add drop my site backups, you know, this is our 30 day backup retention by default. Name hero does do complimentary backups, but we only retain one day's worth of data. So if you need more than that, you can add it for $1.99 a month. So it's, you know, it's cheap. That's for five gigabytes. And of course, the more space you need, um, the more the price is, but you can always upgrade that later. Um, dedicated IP, you know, if you're going to be using this account for email, you probably want to add that. I just want to demo the ad fund. So I'm going to go ahead and continue here to go to our um, cart summary. Now, unfortunately, Google's wanting to um, be a little bit slow today, but it's still moving along slowly and surely. All right, so this is our order summary. You can see my payment due today is $11.97. Um, each month, it's $19.95. So during our fall sale, you are going to save. So if you've got that promo, good job. Let's go to checkout now. All right, so now when you get to the checkout screen, now this is the same for any products, including domains. So if you're registering a domain, it looks the same. So your information is going to all pre-populate because you're logged in. Now, again, you have to be logged into your account if you're not to use the funds. It, the system wouldn't recognize it if you're not. Um, so if you're not logged in, it'll give you the option right here to log in. So please do that. But all your information should be populated here. If I scroll on down here, now you can see the total due is $11.97. Now by default, it's gonna ask for a credit card. If I enter my card, my expiration date, and my CVV, it's gonna actually process that charge because the system can't relate to the funds versus the credit card. So to use your funds, you just wanna select the option PayPal. And what this is going to do, it's going to bypass the credit card and it's just going to use PayPal to pay the invoice, but you're not going to use PayPal. So I'll show you here. Um, you have to agree to the terms. And again, if you're an existing customer, I hope you've already read them. But if not, please go through and read those. There's no confusion on, um, you know, the expectations of Name Hero. But now we'll go to complete order. So now it's going to try to send you off to PayPal because that's what we choose. We chose. So you can see now we're going over here to PayPal. It's going to want me to pay. But I'm going to click back because I don't want to do that. I want to go to billing and click my invoices. So now I can see over here on the right, I have one invoice due with a balance of $11.97. And I can also see it right here. It says unpaid. So I'm just going to click it. And you can see down here in the middle now, I've got apply credit. Your credit balance is $30. And this can be applied to the invoice using the form below. Enter the amount to apply. So I can use all, I can use $11.97 completely to cover the whole invoice. I could use $5 if I just wanted to use $5 and pay for the rest. So it's really up to you, you know, if you, however you wish to do this. Um, but for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and use $11.97 of the 30 and click apply credit. And it just takes a second for that credit to apply. And then it's going to mark the invoice paid. And now my order has completed. So you can see we've got our order survey here. Again, if you're happy, we certainly do appreciate the all fives. Um, but, you know, if you don't want to fill it out, don't worry about it. Click the X. Um, now we can go to our client area and we can go to cloud web hosting and we can see our key diets is here. The hosting package is now online and ready to go. So it's pulled from those funds, new accounts online. This could be a new domain. It could be, you know, any of our products or services. You can fully use your funds to pay for it. Um, the renewals, that's a little different. You know, if I, you know, keep this package for next month, it's going to automatically pull the funds from my name hero wallet to that invoice. It's automatic. You don't have to worry about it. Um, so, you know, with renewals, it's super easy. It just automatically happens. But for new products and services, we have to do that one, one little trick, I guess you could call it, to where we select PayPal, but we actually go in and then use those funds. So that's just kind of a workaround that we have to do um, for existing customers that have funds that want to pay their invoices using those. So it's a powerful way. Uh, a lot of our customers, they like to do it, you know, especially those that want to change the date they have to pay. And you know, if they're not getting their paycheck till the 1st or the 15th and that, you know, their bills due somewhere in between, they like to sometimes add the funds on the first or add the funds on the 15th. That way they're in the in their account and ready to be used. So this allows you to take full control over when you pay pay with us here at Name Hero. So again, we try to make this as simple as possible. You can add up to all the way up to 5,000 in funds so you can have your Name Hero account funded for a long time. And you know, if you're a web de development company or a small business, you know, this is a great way to, you know, have all your um, have your funds in there and be ready as we're approaching the new year. You know, if you're looking for that extra tax deduction, you can, you know, add your funds to your account and they again, they never expire. So you can use them for a year, you can use them for two years, you know, however long that uh, you need, you can you'll have them there in your Name Hero account.
Um, it's also worth mentioning that you can see the balance when you go to pay the invoice. Unfortunately, the way WHMCS is designed, um, there's no way to show you that balance right inside of here. It's shown on the invoices themselves. So if you need to know, you know, if you if you get um, confused about how much funds you have, you can look on that new invoice and it'll show you. Or of course, you can reach out to our billing team. They would be more than happy to you know show you what your current balance is, and as well as answer any additional questions that you may have regarding adding funds to your account. So again, feel free to comment on this video. I'm gonna put this in the, on our YouTube channel and our knowledge base. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be more than happy to help with those as well. Our billing team, you know, they're standing by too. They're a great resource um, to help you, you know, add funds um, or do what you need to do with those. So um, let us know if you have any questions, but thanks so much for using and choosing us here at namehero.com.